Top of the morning, fight fans. This is Kurt DeVille with Kind of Punch Boxing News, and I have some new news concerning Michael Hunter. Of course, we all know, if you don't know, Michael Hunter is the candidate for the potential Joshua fight in Madison Square Garden on June 1st. The show must go on, so he is one of the candidates. Him and Luis Ortiz, but as of today, they have up till today to say yay or nay from Luis's team. Um, but Michael Hunter states that he would love the opportunity. He says that he can't wait to get in there to showcase his skills, to show how he, how he is. And he said that he would give Anthony Joshua a bitch detector test, meaning he's going to test him to see what he's worth, to see if he is what he says he is, to see what kind of champion. He says it's going to get gritty in there. He says he's going to bring him in these deep waters. You know, Michael Hunter said something that reminds me of what Tony Bellew said about um, Alexander Usyk. He said it was going. He wants to be. He's going to bring him in deep waters. He's going to make it a dirty, dark fight. And in fact, the fight was a competitive fight up until a certain point, but it wasn't as dark and dirty as he perceives because it, it, again, this is boxing. And I understand this is Michael Hunter's perspective of what his ideal fight would be with Anthony Joshua, kind of like a movie-like fight. Like, hey, I'm going to bring you into this, you know, tire you out, avoid your big shots, you know, <clears throat> give you everything that I can handle, counter you all night, you know, work you in the inside, work you to the body, you know, make it dark and murky, you know, maybe a cut or two, you know, that sounds great. But just like Tony Bellew, Tony Bellew got hit with something that he did not see. And in fact, it was Usyk's game plan to fight him a certain way for four rounds. So he was trying to avoid doing certain things at a particular time, okay? So for those first four rounds, he wasn't really engaging anyway. You know, he was just kind of um, looking for his openings, you know, waiting for the right opportunities. And he was just basically infiltrating. You know, he was infiltrating. So he was infiltrating Tony Bellew and then he got Bellew out of there. And it's funny that I bring up Usyk because, you know, Usyk is the one guy that beat Michael Hunter on his resume, but I'll get to that later. You know, Michael Hunter, he looks like it's going to be a good candidate or he's going to be that guy because, you know, again, that's if um, Luis Ortiz is the guy that um, basically ducks Joshua because that's what it would be now, you know, and I'll do that. I'll discuss that later. That doesn't matter at this point <clears throat> in this video. But I'm looking at Michael Hunter and I'm thinking, okay, he is a, you know, he's a good fighter. He was a good Olympian. Um, he beat Oscar Rivas in the preliminaries, but got beat by um, Barayeres, I believe. And um, he helped Vladimir Klitschko you know, prepare for David Hay when those guys were going to fight. You know, that face-off was hilarious. <laughs> but anyway, um, so he was a good sparring partner for guys, you know, because he's 6'2", so the size is apparent. Um, now, the good thing about Michael Hunter is his best win is against um, Alexander... Um, Ustinov, I believe. Yeah. Alexander Ustinov, that is his one of his like his marquee wins. You know, and Ustinov, you know, beat guys like um he beat David Tua late, you know, and I can understand that because David Tua is a shorter guy, much shorter guy, and he's way past his prime. And if this is six years ago, David Tua was simply out of his prime years ago. However, if David Tua could hit you, it doesn't matter what year it was. It doesn't. It could be right now. He could hit you with that left hook, and it's you, you'd be waking up wondering what happened. Um, but um, but Ustinov, you know, he was beat by Emmanuel Char, and 
you know, of course, Michael Hunter. And, you know, he was beat by Kubrat Pulev. So the only marquee win he has is Ustinov. You know what I mean? So, um, and Ustinov is a tall guy. That's the only good thing about it. He's like 6'8". Josh was like 6'5". So he is pretty decent with taller fighters, you know. Um, and we know that... What was his name? Um, his last opponent gave him problems. Um, Prevectin. Prevectin is also the same height, 6'2". I don't know why it took me that long to think about Prevectin's name. But anyway, <clears throat> you know, Prevectin gave him some trouble. Now, you know, and Joshua did say, hey, I had to adjust. I had to make some adjustments in there. I had to adjust my punches because of his height. So if Michael Hunter's the same height, that's a plus for him, you know, because, you know, Joshua likes someone around his height, you know, eye level. So he can punch straight, you know, his punch is going to be short or not leaning them down. You know, your punching power ranges if you're fighting someone that's taller or shorter. OK, because, you know, that that's a difference because you're not accustomed to fighting or punching at that certain level. OK, so uh, I can see how that could be a problem. So that's a plus for Michael Hunter. So. And Michael Hunter, you know, you can tell he's young, he's eager, you know, and unlike other fighters, he's able to take that opportunity. Um, he did mention this with about Joshua. He said that he's a guy that um, he's not really a pure boxer as far as he hasn't done this for the duration of his life. He's just started this in his late teens, you know, versus someone like Mayweather's with a pedigree that knows what to do inside and outside the ring because they've been there because they, you know, it's in their blood basically. And he said, Joshua doesn't have that. So he's going to see what Joshua really has when he gets him into the ring, if he can get him into the ring, if a contract is signed, but Michael Hunter fighting Joshua, you know, is one of the uh, substitutes or the go-to fights or the, you know, he's the candidate. So you guys tell me what you think about, um, Michael Hunter, tell me if you think that he is that guy that could give Anthony Joshua problems. Of course, please subscribe. And you guys have been Counterpunch. Peace.